some of the great tags, the three-man tags of the past. We've obviously got the fabulous Freebirds. Absolutely. Who else springs to mind to the you? Von Erics. Von Erics, of course. There have been a lot of great teams, and I know that the Road Warriors and the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Right. You know, one of one of the best six-man combinations. You know, any any three of the four horsemen throughout the years. And uh, Toriano. Heck, my favorite six-man tag team. Yeah. Terry Taylor, Ricky Morton, Wildfire, Tommy Rich. That's a good team right there. So who will be the first to advance in the six-man tag team tournament? Now, Kushida, there's a story there because it was supposed to be Leo Rush originally. And then an opportunity came about. Alex Shelley helped broker the deal. Leo Rush now competing in Europe for a month, the entire month of October. But he said, don't worry, because I've got a great replacement for you for this team. And that's Kushida, his old friend in Time Splitters. So it's Kushida, ACH, and Jay White. So what you're saying is Alex Shelley screwed Leo Rush out of this opportunity and sent him packing to Europe for a no. month? No, because again, what Alex Shelley has said as he's mentoring some of the young competitors here in ROH is that you need seasoning, you need experience, you need to wrestle all styles. You need ah. to become completely well-rounded. It looked like he was just taking care of his buddy Kushida. Well, it, and now Mark Briscoe starts here with ACH. Am I wrong? You are wrong. Oh, sorry. That makes it all better. All better. Yeah, hashtag that one. At ROH ASE 8. Or hashtag Squaresville. How about that? Squaresville. I mean, you say you're sorry. It's okay. Underneath the clothesline. ACH. Wow. Arm drags are plenty. This is a kick out. Oh. <laughs> I love ACH, man. This kid just gets better and better every time he steps foot in the squared circle. And we talked about that maturity level, you know. Competing in Japan, he saw a whole new world. Still got that one in his repertoire. Six bag of tricks. Interesting strategy in a six-man tag, though, is there, really? It's very, very different. Oh, it is. It, it's, it, you know, there's so much more that you can do. You're not relying on just one partner. If that partner gets tired or sore, or hurt, and in trouble, you got two. For me, I always found it's difficult enough to get on with one person, but to find two other people you can get on with. Is that why we don't get along that well? <laughs> <laughs> well, now Toriano, of course, the association with the Briscoes and Yano's faction chaos in New Japan, certainly growing. Well, apparently, Kushida does not understand English. Well, maybe he knows Yano's tricks. And tags in Jay. Now, Jay has been somewhere where Kushida wants to be as the ROH World Champion. Kushida said that to us many times. And Jay White. It's one of his dreams. Yeah, Jay White tagged in. Of course, Kushida would love to be the Ring of Honor World Champion, but he and ACH and Jay White now with the opportunity to perhaps become the first ever six-man tag team champions. So how much satisfaction do you think it would feel for Jay Briscoe? He's won everything in his career, but he got held to a time limit draw by Jay White on television, Nigel. That's got to get under his grill to a certain extent. Now let's talk about the, the white elephant in the room. The Briscoe Brothers gear looks like old Moondog style. And how about the fact that Jay White undefeated so far in Ring of Honor? Jay Briscoe knows a lot about uh, being undefeated almost three years without being pinned. I think if you look at this six-man tag matchup here, you've got to say the advantage has got to go to the Briscoes. I mean, they've oh, teamed together for so many years. That's where your money's got to be. It's Yano on the outside there. He's the enigma, he's the unknown. There he is. Cheering his mates on as Kushida came in to slow down the pace instead. Beautiful roll through. Oof. Ow! There it is, there's that tag team. 
knew where each other was. Frisco dumping Kushida and then... Look at that. <laughs> A puppy. Oh, watch out. Jay White! Oh! oh! Jay White just crashed in, knocked down Rush, but Jay was on the dive. And it looked like ACH was trying to push Jay White out of the way, and he oh, ate it too. Oh, Wait a second, well, if we'll get a shot here. Uh, look at what he's What's doing. doing. Oh, no. Todd Sinclair is trying to make sure everybody's okay. He's got his, all his focus on the outside of the ring, and that leads to Oriano to do what he does best. Oh, Sinclair's seen it. Look at this, ACH. Boy, he stood up at the last second, and he ate that dive from Jay Briscoe. Back there in the ring in the Briscoe's corner. Yano has done the damage. And more damage to that turnbuckle post. The padding there for his opponents, arguably. Will the Briscoes and Yano be able to take advantage of that? That forearm just rocks Jay White. Jay White from New Zealand. In November, our buddy Kevin Kelly's going to New Zealand for the first time. World traveler, this guy. Forward to it. Nice. What are you doing over there? Well, there's going to be a, a, a great event. Uh, promoted uh, promoted wrestling event there. Sports on the mat. Fantastic. Kind of stuttered there. It sounded shady for a second. Uh, Japan, I was trying to get my facts <laughs> straight. Uh, put me on the spot. Hey. I'm not a you know self promoter like you are. What do you mean? Did you see Yano? Did you see what he just did? I I didn't. My monitor's messed up again. And that Ooh. just now, Jay White propelled. Well, Sinclair needs to get that padding back up. Completely unfair, completely against the rules. Letting it go for some reason. I think Yano's uh... and a second time. Uh oh. Oh. Not what the King of Producers wanted right there. Can Jay White make the tag? Kushida. Up. Knocking both Briscoes down. To the eyes goes Yano. Cartwheel drop kick. Kushi. She is one of our favorites. It's great to see him back in Ring of Honor. He'll be watching Elgin first call. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, hip toss into the armbar attempt. Well, we saw Kyle O'Reilly, what he did in this situation. Got Same. extended. Was that a tap? I thought so. I thought so. I it thought looks that like was a tap to the too. Leg I don't know. Doesn't have the arm fully extended by the time he got to the ropes, but nonetheless, that looked like a tap well, to me. Well, that's what made what Paige did so not surprising because that is a very, very painful hold. But the more I think about it from that earlier match, Steve, I think that would, may have been the plan all along. I wouldn't be surprised, we, you know. Paige, no scruples. Cole will do anything he can to hold on to that championship and eliminate Kyle O'Reilly from you know, even being a contender. Even if Cole loses tonight, he doesn't want O'Reilly anywhere near that championship. So who will be the first team to advance in the six-man tag team tournament? We're going to crown inaugural champions, and it almost looked like the Briscoes and Yano were headed to the next round. And that was a beautiful Brad Armstrong leg sweep by Mark Briscoe. Yeah, but the advantage of having that tag team experience that the Briscoes does. And fans saw the bracket just a few moments ago. The tournament field is stacked to Kushida kicks out. Mark's reaching out for a tag again. Very interested to see what the kingdom has to offer. We know Matt Taven said he would rebuild the kingdom in his own image. Bullet Club represented a lot of teams are vying for the opportunity to hold the honor of the first ever six-man tag team champions, Kushida trying to fight out of trouble, Steve. He sure is, but he's up against the eight-time world tag team champions. Oh! He's got to make a tag, both ACH, Jay White ready to go. 
Five feet away, there's the tag. Tags in ACH, super ACH. And right back how we started the match with Mark Crisco and ACH. Mark out to the floor, super ACH, here he goes. Oh. Jordan. Absolutely picture perfect dive over the top. Mark wanted a tag, nobody there. Oh. Oh, he's ready. Downstairs, then upstairs. Knee to the back of the head. And this is what makes this kid super. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Some of Mark Briscoe's teeth now. Got that many left, it? Now tags in. Oh. And we're seeing this trio's offense here. Some great offense by these three. That missile drop kick scores. Is it enough to advance? Yano in to break it up. This is what we've got to see here. Triple team maneuvers. And that's what it's going to take to win this match. Oh, wait. Jay Frisco charges in. You're an Augie. You see the way he set him up so he landed in his own corner as well beforehand. Exactly. What tag team strategy there. Benefit of the years of experience. Tick, tick, tick. Oh. That neck breaker on the money. Here's a cover. Leg is hooked and Jay White kicks out. Getting close. Get up in the corner, Mark. Make the tag. Let's get going. We have seen remarkable resiliency from Jay White in the early part of his Ring of Honor career and continuing here tonight at All-Star Extravaganza. But will he suffer the first pinfall defeat? Bizarre way oh. career. ACH in to help him out. Take but, that. Yeah, but Jay Briscoe puts him down. Absolutely. Mm. Now back to what I was doing. Jay Driller. Machida knows it. Had it scouted. Jay Briscoe's doing well on his own against all three sure guys. Is. Holy Death Valley driver. Froggy Bow. Froggy Bow. This one is over. So the Briscoes and Yano will admit. Oh, are you kidding me? Spoke too soon, fellas. How many people has Mark Briscoe put down and defeated with Froggy Bo throughout his career in Ring of Honor? It's a who's who. But Jay White just absorbed Froggy Bo and somehow, some way, kicked out. This kid's special. Now Trio's oh. offense being shown by the Briscoes, and here comes Yano. Gorgeous. Stereo thrust kicks there from Dem Boys. Yano, is it enough? Oh. Kushida and ACH in to break it up. At the last second, though, and right back out for their troubles. Again, the Briscoes showing us the benefit of that tag team experience. Jay White's in big trouble here. Who will have the, the advantage moving into the tournament? Qualifying for the next round. Oh, my! Mark Briscoe all the way to the floor! Roman with that DDT. Uh-oh. Yano's in trouble now. He's going to have to do it on his own. Oh, watch the low blow. Kushida, he knew it was coming. Oh. There it is, the school boy. It's Two. over. Oh. Yano's won so many matches in New Japan just like that. Oh, what a shot kick. Now, finally, Jay White makes the tag. Kushida is in. He's legal. But I think Yano knows it. Dumps him like a sack of spuds. Drags him over like dead weight. There's the tag to ACH. Oh! What? Well, 
didn't expect that. Hey, so Kushida tagged ACH. ACH tagged Kushida, rather. Midnight Star. Got him. him. Oh. The winners of the match. And then say in the tournament, the team of Jay White, Kushida, and ACH. What an upset, right, Nigel? Take a look at this. Kushida diving to the outside. Oh, oh. Up, following yeah. up with the 450. A midnight star, that's all she wrote. Wasn't well, a triple team move in the end, but it was Kushida taking out the Briscoes that enabled ACH to get that win. So a late addition to the team, Kushida, he, ACH, and Jay White with the first upset of the tournament. Will there be more to come? And Let's look at that, you know. Look at the teams that are in there. I'm Kishin, sure. LSD, Ali, Cabinet, Addiction, Kamatachi, Team CMLL, the Kingdom and Bullet Club. But we see our first team that advances. Kushida, Jay White, and Ace.